So that's all I'm going to do to clean up this image. What I want to do now is just save it again because, again, if I lose the picture, I don't want to have to go back in and clean up the fence and the door again. So I just click Save up here. I don't have to name it. It just updated Jones123 Main, and this is still my before picture. So now we're ready to start landscaping. Now, when I was a landscape designer, the first thing I would do is design the hardscapes first. I would draw in the walkways, the driveways, and the grass areas. So we're going to do it the same way. That's just because that's the way I do things. You could do it any way you want from here. If you want to do the plants first and then put in the grass, that's your choice. So let's decide what we're going to do. First of all, I'm going to put pavers on this driveway. I'm going to bring the driveway out to the edge of the house here. And I'm going to expand the walkway up to the front door a little bit here. So that's what I want to do. I will start doing that. To do that, what you'll need to do is use the drawing tools to draw in where you want the pavers to go. So we'll go up here to the Define Area tool and we'll click on it bring it on the screen. Again, this is one of the most important tools in the program. I recommend you watch the training movie about this particular tool because you need to know how to use all these different features. I'm going to cover a few of them briefly here, but you definitely want to get the details. So I'm going to start right here at this corner. I'll click on that. I'll come out to here because I want the papers to come off the screen. I will click here. And now I'm going to go over here because I want the pavers to end where the driveway is ending now. And I want it to come back up here to the garage. So I've just defined that area. Now I want to place pavers on it. I click on the Greenscapes library. And now it brings up my paving, concrete, and grass library. Pretty much everything you're going to put on as a surface is going to come from this library. Now also, this is a very important tool in the program and I recommend you watch the perspective movies on this tool itself and it will go into detail. Again, I'm going to cover it briefly. So if I want to put pavers on here, the first thing I need to do is select the manufacturer that I want to place on here. So if you scroll through here, you'll see all the different manufacturers. You know that many of them do say Belgard. That's because Belgard has many different regions. So if you're going to use a Belgard and say you're in Florida, you would select on uh, Old Castle Coastal because that's the Florida pavers. So let's pick one of these here. Let's say we're going to do a pattern that kind of matches the brick that's on the house. Let's look for something that's close to that. Let's try these brown ones here. We'll click on it and it places those pavers on the driveway. Now you notice they don't look realistic because the perspective is just straight on. We need to adjust the perspective. To do that we could click on these handles here and I'm going to drag this handle over here so this line lines up with the edge of the pavers here and you can see the perspective has already shifted on this. I'm going to bring this one down a little bit and then grab this one here and line it up. Now one thing that I will tell you right now when I move this one, this one here moves with it. That's because perspective is set here. You'll need to free up the handles so you can move them independently. Uh, again, watch the perspective movie. It'll explain this better. So I'm going to click on free and bring this one back down here. And because I want the pavers to look like they're going across the driveway here, I'm going to select this one and bring it up. And as you can see, in a matter of seconds, you have the perspective set for the driveway. So now I want to draw in the walkway. So I click OK. Well, before we do that, let's show you that you could change. Once I've got the perspective and the uh, scale set, I can always go back in here into the library and change it to a totally different uh, type of paper just by clicking on it. I don't like that one. I'm just giving you an idea here. Let's use the uh, make. Oh, I don't think you can actually use the Mega R bell on the uh, driveway, but let's just use a cobblestone. Again, the first one I picked, I think, actually looks the best. So I'm going to go back to it. 
and now I'm going to click OK to leave this menu so that I can draw another area and now I want to draw in this walkway that I want to expand out here so again I go back into the define area tools I'm going to draw over the driveway because I'm going to send the walkway underneath it so I don't have to be as exact because a lot of times you try to draw right along that line and you leave a little gap and you can see daylight through it so we want it to come out here so now I want to zoom in here to do a little more detailed work I press F10 on the keyboard and I'm going to go around this downspout and come back here to my starting point and click on it and it closes that polygon there I see now that I wasn't zoomed in I drew that in the wrong place I'm going to move that point by simply going into the edit tool and moved the point so let's zoom back out now I'm going to show you a trick if I want to grab the same pavers I placed on the driveway and put them in the walkway here I click on greenscapes library and I'll click on grab pattern let's move this so you can't I'm going to once I get the uh, pointing finger here I hold that over the area I want to grab so I don't have to go looking for that exact same paver and click on it and it places the paver in that defined area then I know I'm going to need to adjust the perspective on these so I grab these handles and move them into place like so so now we want to define a walkway going to this fence so again we just repeat the whole thing. We're going to draw this. Now I want to adjust this point here because I didn't put enough perspective. The one thing you got to make sure to you do too, if you don't know how to do two-point perspective, I suggest you take a class in it. If you don't know how to draw, you always got to draw things with perspective and the program will help you put perspective on the textures that you put it on. But if I left this square like that, it just doesn't look as real as if it's going off at an angle like that. Remember, everything gets smaller as it goes back into the picture. So again, we'll go in here to Greenscapes Library, we'll grab Pattern, select on that, and again, adjust the perspective. Once you're happy with it, simply click OK. And now we have the walkway and the driveway in the image. Now let's place some grass over in this area on the left of the image. First of all, I've decided I want to place a curved area here of grass going around like that so that I have room to put plants in here in front of the walkway and cover up these plants here. So there's a couple ways you could do it. First you go to the drawing tools here. You can use the polygon tool and you can just draw it in and then adjust the points. But I have found in the past it's easier to get nice curved lines using the circle oval tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here and drag this out here so I kind of get the shape that I want in the place that I want about there and then I could add to this shape by going back to the polygon tool and I really want the grass to kind of come out this way and are we down I'll make sure I'm drawing to the bottom of the image here and then we'll join this back up you can see that there are a bunch of points here but they're just going to go away when I put the grass on it now I'm going to move a couple points because I see this looks kind of squirrely over here still squirrely so I'm going to zoom in by pressing F10 and then we're going to add a point by going to the add point icon here because I need another point right about there and then I'm going to move it up now you're probably wondering did he have this planned out uh, well yes but you know what I've noticed that when I teach people it's always good to show when you make a mistake how to fix those things I see a little doodad going off here that I don't want this point so I'm going to pick this up and move it back okay that's good enough we'll click OK no actually we want to go back to the library um, 
to the Greenscapes library and we want to find grass. You'll find grass in the secondary library because this library here is for all the pavers. So we got artificial grass and we got our real grass under grass, grass and mulch. So I'll pick the blue grass here and it pops it in that area that I've drawn. And then grass, we want to just kind of size it to the size that looks realistic to us and put a little bit of perspective on it. Doesn't meet, need much because it's grass. So that's good enough here for me. I'll click OK. And now I want to place some grass over here around this walkway. Now again, I'll go into the drawing tools use the polygon draw. I'm going to draw over the walkway here so that it's faster and you'll see why here in a second because it has to do with the daylight theory that I told you before if I tried to draw along that line and I messed up and left a gap you will see that gap. So I'll go back into the green skeps library I want to grab grass put a little perspective on it adjust the scale now I want to put the grass behind the pavers here. I just go up here to send it back and the grass went behind it. Just saves a little extra step of being detailed drawing around that walkway. Okay, we're almost ready to start placing some plants in here. We could actually put the plants in here and put in the mulch later, but I have found it's just a little bit easier to put the mulch in first. Of course, you've noticed that I did not remove some of the plants and rocks that were already in the picture because I knew I'd be covering them up with pavers, and now I'm going to cover them up with the mulch and probably the plants also. So sometimes it just doesn't pay to take the time to physically remove something when you could simply cover it up. So let's say we want to put some mulch or bark in here and we want to put it all in the area where there's dirt and over these rocks and plants that are here and also over here on this side of the image. So what I'm going to do is go into the defined area tools again and I'm just going to draw all over this area and again I'm not going to be too careful because I know I'm going to place the bark below the grass and below the paver. So I'm just going to cut across the grass here and I'm going to go beyond the paver as I get back to the point. I press enter to close that polygon. I'll click on Greenscapes Library. I go here to the secondary library and again go down to Grass and Mulch. All I have to do is select on the color of mulch that I want. It places it in here. I'm going to scale it up a bit. Put a little bit of perspective on here. And that's pretty good for my mulch. Now I'm going to again do that trick where I'm going to send it to the back. So I go up here to back, click on that, and you see now it's behind the uh, pavers and it's behind the grass. Makes it very simple and very quick to do it that way. Now we just need to do this section over here. I'm not even going to record it because I understand you've got how to draw things in by now. So now I'll just go to grab pattern, grab the mulch pattern. It pops it in there at the right scale. So now we're done with the mulch. Now we can add some plants to this image. 